sheriff's office received a call of a body that had been found in rural Carver County. The murder of Earl Olander was a brutal, horrific crime. Earl Olander was a thriving, independent, 90-year-old farmer. Earl spent his entire life reaping corn. Clearly, they were looking for something. Earl was in the living room. His hands were tied behind his back with duct tape. The house was in extreme disarray. And they left him there to die. I think we had close to 90 pieces of evidence. There was a freshly baked blueberry pie on the counter. That sticks with you. We assumed that it was somebody from the area or somebody that Earl knew that had killed him. Earl's closest friends were put under the microscope. It's upsetting to you, obviously. For someone to say that my husband is the murderer? I mean, come on. I said, do you think we're ever going to get this figured out? And he said, yes. They always leave something behind. You felt like you needed a miracle. We needed a miracle. Solve this case. I absolutely believe in divine intervention. It all happened the way that it should have, and it all happened to identify Earl's killers. 